In this video, I want to show you how to create a web form or opt-in form. So a web form or an opt-in form is where you place where you want to collect uh, subscribers information, your contact information. So you place this web form or opt-in form on your website, on your blog, on your lead capture page, whatever page you want. And when people enter their email and other and other contact info, then those contact info will be stored inside the Zexus database. And then you can use this form to connect and to connect it to one of the sequence that you manage. And then the contact or the subscriber will then receive emails as, uh, as whatever, as you have said in your sequence. So go to the email and CRM, go to web forms. You can click this web forms and it will go directly to the manage web forms. Or just click this one, manage web forms. So this is the same and you will be, you will arrive at this page and you just need to click, click the create new web form button. Okay, web form name, give this a name. This is just for your own internal use. Nobody will see this except you. Okay, I'm going to put this demo opt-in form. Do you want to add the sequence? So this is the step where you actually connect this web form to, to a sequence that you have created. In this case, I'm going to choose this one, Blue Widget Customers. And do you want to make this a double opt-in? Okay, I'm going to select no for now. And a thank you page. You can use our default thank you page. You can click this one to preview what it looks like, or you can choose a custom URL. So for example, and already subscribe page, you can also use the default one we have created for you. You can use a, deep, a custom URL. Let's say you want to create your own already subscribe page, you're welcome to do so. This is just an example, it doesn't exist. If you want to send a notification, Every time someone opts into your web form, then you can enter your email this one. If not, you can enter your email here. If not, leave it blank. Ad tracking is for, let's say you have, um, so that you know where the contact um, come from. Okay, so let's say you have this opt-in form, this web form on several different places. You can use an ad tracking. So for example, let's say that you put this on a lead capture page, um, lead capture page version A, you can do so. So this will tell you how effective your lead, cap lead capture page is, okay? Or if you want to put a blog sidebar, that means it's the web form is resided on your blog sidebar, okay? This is useful when you go to the contacts. You will see that there will be an ad tracking here Currently, I have no contacts. So if you have, uh, for example, Peter who comes in uh, from ad tracking block sidebar and Alex block sidebar and then John block sidebar, then you will notice a trend that is working well for you. You can uh, immediately see the ad tracking over here or alternatively, you can select ad tracking and then just type in the ad tracking name and you can click search and it will show you the number of contacts that you have that have been added under this ad tracking value okay and tags this is the place where you want to assign a tag whenever the contact is added through this opt-in form so let's say i want to because this is the blue widget customers people who have opted into this opt-in form i'm going to assign the blue widget tags and i'm going to assign uh, more if I wanted to I can but right now I just want to assign a blue widget tag Okay, I can add a new tag here on the fly if I wanted to Okay, I'm going to yeah. Once we have saved the design form we go to the design tab and If you are using a Landing page a third-party landing page creator then you don't really need to worry about the design because the design and the, the design from the landing page creator will override our design. Okay, but if you're not using 
any kind of landing page uh, application or software, then you need to play around with the design over here. Okay, we give you a few templates to choose from. You can play around with it. And I'm not going to go through each one here. Now, even if you're using a landing page creator and if, if you want to add um, some more fields, for example, custom fields that you have created, it doesn't show up here because I haven't created one. If you did create a custom field, it will show up here and you can choose. So for example, let's say I want to ask for their, their mobile phone mobile number. I can click this one and it will show up here. So even if you're using a third party landing page creator, if you want to use uh, additional fields, if you want to ask uh, visitors for more information, such as this one, then you still need to configure it over here. Okay. And then we go over to the, you can, this is basically uh, what you see is what you get. Type in over here and you can also type in over here drag and drop it here okay and now let's go to the publish okay like I said just now if you're using landing page creator then our design will be overwritten by your by the landing page creator so you, I would suggest click no styles to make it easier to read and more concise the code and then just select this and paste it into your landing page creator. If you are not using a landing page creator or any kind of web, uh, web creating software, then uncheck this because we, you want to include all the design elements over here. Basically just select and copy and paste into your uh, website where you want the form to appear. Okay. And then that's it. Once you have published this, then your web form will be live. Now let's talk. Uh, we go back to settings, talk a little bit about double opt-in. Okay, if we select yes, then it will ask you for the confirmation, the thank you page. Okay, the thank you page is after people enter their details, where do you want to redirect them? You can use the default, you can preview it. Okay, ask you to check your email, etc. etc. Or if you have created a separate landing page for it, then you can enter the custom URL. Okay, I'm going to choose default for now. Then the confirmation email, okay, this one. Choose a persona from, since I only have one, that means I don't have any choice but to choose this one. But you can add more personas under email and CRM persona over here. Okay, and message, you have no confirmation email, okay? So what I need to do is just click the create new message and then just type in confirmation email, for example, and create this one. Okay, it says here, and you can edit the message, the email, and it will open in a new window. And I'm not going to go over everything again here, it just Please refer to the previous video where I showed you how to uh, create and edit your email. Okay.